Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool looking. That's actually not laggy at all either. There's that. Okay, so up and down on the gun. One is the hatch. Two. What? Hold on. That was cool. Let's do that again. Hold on. Let's do it again. Oh, that is so awesome. We got a laser. This makes it look like I uh, actually know what I'm doing here as far as flying something. So, you know the control scheme is really good when it does that. Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back checking out some more viewer creations. Now, if you're asking, well, Komodo, where's Micro City? Micro City is coming back here very soon. I just took a, a tiny break from it. We actually did a Hot Wheels series video a couple days ago. So if you need your build fix, that'll be in the top right corner. But today, we've got some really fantastic creations to check out. Obviously, you see this huge thing behind me here. And I'm really excited to jump right into this. So, if you want to download anything that you see in the episode here today, it's going to be down in the description. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button and let's check this out. Oh boy, there's uh, certain things in Scrap Mechanic that makes me all excited. Uh, Off-road creations and stuff like this. Look at this. Uh, look at this. So this is by uh, Lady Skelebro69. <laughs> I think I'm so saying that right. It says, this is the new biggest working cargo ship you could probably find in Scrap Mechanic. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't really been searching around the workshop for big cargo ships. But, this thing is actually quite impressive. Now, for the size of this thing, it's not lagging. It had a little initial lag when it first dropped, but this is actually pretty impressive. So, uh, hmm. Question is, I see a button in the front. It looks like there's... You know, it's actually kind of weird. Uh, the outside of it, it's different on each side. So you've got like, this looks like the, uh, maybe this is the cockpit over here. Yeah. And then over here, it's a little bit different. Oh, look at those thrusters. Oh, that is a setup back there. Okay. So you go over here and it's different. It's kind of weird. Kind of reminds me a little bit of how the Millennium Falcon, how the pilots and all that are on the right side of the ship. And there's really nothing on the other side. So anyways. Enough Star Wars talk. Let's go ahead. Let's hop into here. I'm actually ready for this. I'm like the anticipation's killing me. So let's go. Boop. Oh, it just lagged a little bit. Okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I see tons of lights. Where's the switch? Okay. It's over here. Okay. Uh, it is a little laggy when we're right here. Imagine once we get in the air, we'll be fine. Uh, what's this do? Okay, so that turns on all the lights. How do we close the doors at the big, this thingy here? Okay, okay, here we go. Maybe it'll stop lagging uh, once the door's closed. Uh, give it a second. Uh, give it a second to settle out. Oh, there it goes. Huh, that is so strange that door causes that much lag. It's really just a couple pistons. Oh, this is a, uh, this is really neat though. So, say if you're going across the galaxy and you need to deliver some supplies, uh, you got these supply crates here. Filled with food and supplies and other supply stuff for these supplies. This is actually a, this is neat looking in here. I like this. It's like homey feeling. You know, it would really be nice to get uh, another space map in Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I know uh, Durf initially had the the moon map, which I don't think it works now because of the uh, some of the recent updates. But that'd be cool to do again. So, uh, is there anything I can interact with in here? Not really. It looks like we got some uh, bigger cargo items here. So am I supposed to... Oh, am I actually supposed to hop up this? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm going to duck because I'm short. <laughs> there we go. All right. So it looks like we have other supplies. What is this supplies, guys? Uh, what do you think this is? This looks kind of strange. Uh, maybe it's like fuel or something or some sort of liquids. Uh, maybe it's like a big thing of sun-kissed and Mountain Dew. Okay, so we're gonna, I had an actual interruption while I was recording, and this is actually an important interruption, and I'm all excited now. I had an interruption, my dog started barking, and guess what? The UPS people were here, and I have a play button now, so I'll check that out here in just a bit. Let's go ahead and continue to jump through this. I gotta show commitment to my job here. So, anyways, a uh, very cool setup in here. What is this over here? Is this another light switch? Uh, let's hit this. Okay, so that's the, uh, the inner lights here. Okay. So, uh, let's go back into the back area here. 
Okay, so what is going on here? I'm assuming this is like the engine area, maybe the fuel area? There's a lot of gizmos and gadgets in here. I'm not really sure what anything does though. Okay, so these are obviously... These are wired up here too. There's so many controls in this thing. He's done an absolutely amazing job here. So uh, let's look on each side. We're gonna walk up here. All right, so we're getting close. Okay, so I think the uh, the pilot seat is here. Oh, that is cool looking. Okay, so we got the pilot seat over here, and then over here, what is this? Is this does it have controls? No, it doesn't. It's got the little light here. I don't know what this is. Is is this like a, like an observation post? Maybe a co-pilot? Maybe if you're like you know backing into the spaceport, uh, somebody can guide you along on this side. I'm not really sure. I might, might have to ask him about that, so... We got more switches, more lights. I think we're ready to, uh... Do a little bit of flying. I don't know what that is back there. Uh, let's see. Custom seat. Okay. Oh, boy. Alright. I think I'm ready for this. Now, his control scheme, if I remember correctly, it's kind of like a Moonbow control scheme, so I, I believe I have this figured out. Okay, here we go. We're gonna hit one, and we are in the air. Now, let's check the balance on this thing. That's what I always like to see out of these big crafts. Oh, this is balanced. Okay, we're not drifting. Nope, looks pretty stable there. Okay, all right, what's two? I'm assuming two's the forward thrust. Okay, so you've got that. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, Komodo, do not hit that button. Okay, so this is something I missed, actually, from one of his last craft. I was always wondering where the upward pitch was because the downward pitch is three, uh, four and five are kind of like a roll, but actually W is the upwards pitch. So that's how you turn, or that's how you go upwards like that. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, so it seems like the turning is maybe seven and eight. Oh, that turns so good. Oh, that's so good, huh? I think we need to lift the nose a little bit. There we go. It's kind of hard to judge stuff in the flat worlds, even though this is kind of where I thought I needed to spawn this because of how big it was. Uh, but, you know, I'm not, I don't have any, like, reference points or anything, so I'm looking down at flat world that's moving, so I don't know where the actual barriers are or anything. But I can assure you, uh, if you look down, we are moving. You can see the ground moving below us here. So, Sang's boogieing. It's pretty good. Uh, what does the 9 key do? Okay, 9 key. Is that a reverse, or is that like a brake thruster? I'm seeing an extra one activate back there, but the scrap mechanic camera is a little funky. Maybe it's a booster. Could be a booster. Okay, so let's go point our nose down a little bit. Oh, it's almost so tempting to go over to a uh, another world and spawn this in. That way we can see it like fly around a mountain. Let's do that real quick. Oh, right. This is more like it. So yeah, now we're in a terrain map. I just really wasn't sure how big this thing was, but uh, fits good out here. It's kind of really makes me want to build something like this. It's been a while since I built a, a big hovercraft thingy. Oh, don't hit the trees. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Oh, we missed it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, this thing's so satisfying to drive. I love this. This control scheme is really easy to pick up, guys. Uh, This makes it look like I uh, actually know what I'm doing here as far as flying something. So, you know the control scheme is really good when it does that. This is an awesome craft. Very, very awesome. So yeah, this uh, might be something we do a little bit in the future. Maybe after we uh, we wrap up the Hot Wheels, we might, we might start like a big project like this. I imagine this took a lot of time. Oh no, I just hopped out of it. No, grab it, grab it. Oh boy, I meant to hit the uh, meant to hit the turn off the thrusters button. For some reason, I hit I clicked E. Well, uh, that was a good creation. I want to thank him for sending that over, and uh, I think it's time to move on to the next one. I wonder if that's gonna lag. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I feel like I should actually do something about that. Uh, you know, I think it's actually slowly drifting down. Okay, so, we've got another creation here. Now, this is, uh, I guess since we're on the kind of space future, I don't know, maybe that's the theme of this episode. Actually, I don't think we have a theme for this episode. But we're on some sort of futuristic swing here. So, we've got, this is a, uh, I can't even pronounce this. Let's go ahead and pull this out on the lift real quick. Hold on, first let's watch it snap off of the lift. Check this out. Boom! Kind of just put itself all together there. Right, let's do that one more time. Get one more view of that. Ready? Boom! That is a. Uh, that's really cool. That is a. <laughs> oh, that is a mess of controls. Okay, so this is by Mr. Blue Flame. This is the VK three seven zero one F Luft. Uh, you know, I I think that's German, and I'm part German. I should be able to say something like that, but I can't. 
Uh, this is a concept tank designed by Flame Corp, which I'm assuming that's his uh, his little corporation here. It's got lasers. It's got basically everything on it. This has got a lot of weapons. Uh, I, I say we just go ahead and just jump into this. Maybe we can shoot the... Uh, oh, it's actually almost touched the ground now. Cool. I was going to say, hey, maybe we can shoot that out of the sky, but uh, we're good. Let's go ahead and set this over. Let's start it about right here. So how do we climb into a futuristic tank here? Uh, I see the seat. It's right there. But how does one get into the seat? Oh, there's a hatch up here. Oh, this is... Whoa! Look at what he's done here with the parts. So all these are on basically... You can see the bearings here. And it's like all the plating and stuff forms into place because it looks kind of funky on the lift, but that's impressive. Okay, let's go ahead and hit this. Hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's stuck. You know, it's kind of bad when Scrap Mechanic actually lags in like non-single or non-multiplayer things. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's another hatch. Hold on. So we pop that open. So is this the driver and this is the gunner position, but I think the hatch is stuck. Hold on. See if we can force it open here. There it goes. Okay, so... Oh, this is cool. Let's go ahead and climb down into this. What does this look like? Oh, this is neat. This is really neat. Actually, are we controlling it from this one? No, we're actually controlling the gun. So if we hit one, this should put the gun back on top of us here. So if we can do that. I'm assuming two is the firing. Oh, that is so cool. Man, I really want to be able to attach weapons to stuff on Scrap Mechanic. Uh, you can be taking stuff out and while the, uh, the other person's driving. That is very awesome. All right, let's go ahead and move that real quick. Let's hop over. I want to pilot this thing. So if I were to hit this back, that should swing back into place. Uh, I do like the inside of this. I like the how this thing here moves. So this is the... Oh, this is the turret controls. Hold on. There's that. Okay, so up and down on the gun. One is the hatch. Two... What? Hold on. That was cool. Let's do that again. Hold on. Let's do it again. Oh, that is so awesome! We got a laser! It's a laser cannon! Okay. Wait, did I break it? I think it's actually got a timer on it. Yeah, it seems like you can only shoot this thing so many times before it, it has like a little cooldown period. That's cool. So, what did three do? I don't really know. Let's try four. Okay, four is your hover. So, the controls seem to be actually mapped to the... Uh... Oh, it's actually mapped to buttons. Okay, I got this. So, forward is five, reverse is... Uh-oh, does this thing have some sort of stabilization? Oh, that's good, okay. Okay, so five is forward, six is back, and then you got your left and right are seven and eight. It's actually... Does this thing have a... Is it stuck on? Hold on, okay, so that's the hover. It's weird, it's like the cannon is now on like an auto-fire mode. I think I just turned it off. Okay, so I think there actually is an auto-fire mode on this. So, I believe it might be the three key. So, you hit it, and it'll continuously fire, but I hit it again, and it stopped. Now, I can manually fire with two. That is cool. You know, it almost feels like there's a little bit of recoil on here, which would be kind of strange. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this way. This handle's really good with the button method. It's really stable. I have to give it to Mr. Blue Flame. This is uh, rather impressive. So, we can go here. Oh, don't hit the tree! Don't hit the tree, miss the tree, okay, miss the big rock bump. Oh, that was a lot smoother than expected, okay. I have to say, I am really impressed here. Now, let's go ahead, I want to see, does that cause recoil? I mean, I can picture maybe the moving part, maybe moving the tank a little bit here, so if I go... Yeah, it actually shifts it back a little bit. I want to say that's a thruster, that's maybe what's pushing it back. I actually do think it is, uh, that's cool. Ah, man, Scrap Mechanic's got so much potential. If they can just figure out some multiplayer things, we could be having tank battles with guns. Probably would be potato guns, but maybe you'll be able to mod in guns after uh, they release the potato cannon thing that they're working on. That would be cool to be able to actually do that. Attach to vehicles, have multiplayer battles like that. Uh, I would look forward to shooting all the multiplayer Monday people. That would make me feel good about myself. Anyways, uh, it's starting to lag a little bit. I don't think it's the tank. I finally think that the uh, the big ship that we abandoned in the background is having issues. So let's go remove that. But yeah, I definitely want to thank Mr. Blue Flame for sending this over. And let's move on to the next creation. Okay, so I love trains and scrap mechanic. Now, they're not always FPS friendly. Uh, that's always been an issue with uh, trains, especially when you stick them on tracks. But we have a train here, or at least we have an engine. Now, I do believe the workshop itself has some uh, extra parts on it or extra uh, train cars 
Uh, we're gonna check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some track, but I have an engine and it looks absolutely spectacular. Now he sent the engine over, but I was like, man, I wonder if he's got some tracks. And he also had tracks on his workshop. So let me set up a little straightaway here and then we're gonna check out a really cool train. All right, so for our engine here, this is the USA TCS 100 locomotive. This is actually based on a real locomotive, or a real engine, I guess you should say. Um, yeah, this actually looks really spectacular. This is made by, and his name is XESAU. I don't know how to say that, but it's also, he got some help from It's Alex, too. Now, this requires a couple mods, not too much, but check this thing out. That looks cool. Now, he does have some train cars on the uh, on his workshop, but I don't see a way to connect them. Maybe you'd have to build your own connection, or maybe the, the cars itself might have a connection point. But, we're going to walk down the tracks here. I do believe this thing is piston-powered, at least from what I was seeing. Now, I could be wrong about that. I haven't actually tested this out yet. Uh, but let's see. Oh, that lines up perfectly, doesn't it? Hold on, let's go boom, and... Is that it? Are we on the tracks? It looks like it. Oh, wow, that was easy. This would be another world that I would like to do at some point, but I picture every time I've seen somebody attempt a train world, they end it after about two episodes because it gets too laggy. I don't know, maybe this will be something that we can do. Uh, let's see, the Transportation Corps uh, US Army, so this is like an army train. Cool. Uh, if you can see from the... Uh, okay, hold on, I'm trying to make this out. Uh, actually, I see some engines there's an engine up here that is hooked to some of the wheels, so maybe it isn't quite piston-powered. But I also see just a bunch of connections. Maybe the wheel moves and makes it look like the whole thing's actually powered by this arm over here. So, let's hop into this real quick. Oh, nope, oh, there we go. Oh, this is cool. I love these classic style of trains. Uh, just imagine actually setting on one of these and, I don't know, just driving it. This would be, like, fantastic. Uh, this isn't like the modern trains where it's got all the fancy gizmos and gadgets. This is, uh, steam-powered here, so we open this up here. Oh, yeah. So we'll shovel some coal, throw it in there. There we go. Shut that there. Okay, if I was a train conductor or engineer, how would I make this thing go? What's this button do? Huh. I really wish I could see what I'm doing here. On, is there a seat up here? Okay, here we go. Ah, here we go. Uh, that works. Okay, so what did I just hit there? I don't like those. I think those lights were already on. So let's go. What's one do? That's the horn. It's a little quiet. Hold on, let's get close here. All right, so we got our horn, and I'm assuming two is go, so. No? Oh, go is W. Okay, uh, that's. I kind of figured it was going to be two. Right, what is two doing? There wasn't any... Okay, let's just hit the W here. Okay, so there's W. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool looking. That's actually not laggy at all either. It's a hug... Oh, we're bouncing a little bit. Bouncing a little bit. We're hugging the tracks. Oh, we might have derailed. Did we derail? No, we're good. What is bouncing? Something is hitting occasionally. Go forward. There we go. That's just the bounciness and scrap mechanic, I think. I think this track's actually fairly long, so it might, it might need a cut. Okay, so does, does this thing reverse, too? Oh, it does reverse. I also notice it's got these little stoppers on here, which it appears to be, like, small wheels with pistons on it, so say if you were to bounce into, like, an end or something, you would be able to do that. That is cool. I really like that uh, train a lot. It would be kind of cool. Uh, I noticed a lot of people have been doing with the invisible blocks for Durf. They've been creating these smoke effects. That would be awesome if you could do that with the front here. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out. Is there anything that I'm missing? I'm still curious. There's a couple. Okay, that switch is actually not connected to anything. That's your horn. And I'm not entirely sure what that's doing. That's hooked into... Oh, that's hooked into... So okay, hold on. Uh, let's go up here. Is that the release for the steam or one of the releases, possibly? I don't know much about trains like this, so... Uh, yeah, that is connected into that. Did that actually open though? Hold on, let's hit that. Oh, there it goes. Oh! Oh, it looks like water. Okay! Huh! That's cool, and nothing comes out of this, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. That is a... That's really neat. Now, like I said, his workshop is also filled with a couple other train things, like cars and stuff like that. Let me go pull out one of those real quick. Alright, so he also has a passenger car, or a passenger wagon. This is an alpha version, so it says it needs some adjustments. 
Uh, he's got a big tanker here too. So I don't know if these connect quite yet. He's got some track sets. Uh, he doesn't look like he really has any turns yet, but he's got different connections. He's got slopes. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn one of these. And okay, I'm trying to see, how does this, how would you, if you could connect these, is there a way to do that with this system? There might not be yet. Uh, it very well might just be parts right now that you can't actually connect, but it doesn't hurt to stick this on the track and look at it. So let's go here, lower it here. There we go. Cool. So there's not any connect. I don't think there is. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, can we fit the train? Oh, let's fit the passenger car on here real quick. I really love trains. Like I love looking at them. I've always wanted a model train. Uh, I always go to these hobby shops. They have these really expensive dioramas set up with these trains. I'm like, man, I would love to do that. Uh, but yeah, I don't. <laughs> I'm not a millionaire. That stuff's expensive. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, did it set? No, nope. uh, set that wrong. Hold on, set that back up real quick. All right, there we go. Passenger card is set up. Let's go ahead and hop into here real quick. I'm curious what's on the inside of this. Let's hop up here. There we go. Okay. Oh. oh. All right. So this is like an old timey card, is it not? Is this a, is this a side? Okay. The side opens. Uh, what do we got here? So this is a. Oh, this is like you just sit there and stare at each other the whole time during the ride. Oh. Oh, this thing lights up. Where are the light? Oh, each one's got its own light switch, doesn't it? So you can walk in here. It's kind of a tight fit. Boom. Got your lights. Got your little storage. Oh, I love old-timey train cars. This is so cool. I'm going to hit this one. Okay, so yeah, these are all identical. Man, if you can really hook up a train and scrap mechanic, have like, I don't know, maybe 10 of these. Have a couple tankers on there. Have a caboose. Maybe a, an engine or two. Oh, that would be so cool. Uh, I would probably just do trains all the time in scrap mechanic. Oh, that is awesome. So yeah, I definitely want to thank him for sending the engine over. I just went ahead and checked out his workshop and looked at some of the other things here. Quite impressive. I, I really hope he continues to work on this stuff. This is really nice. Okay, so for our final creation. Now, Zombie NL is a big creator of construction equipment, which I believe this is one of the pieces we checked out. And then another guy on my Discord, his name is Edvin. He's a big suspension guy, so... Uh, we have a collab here. We have the monster wheel loader. So this is construction yet ridiculous. Oh, oh the frames. Oh, it's beautiful What the heck why? Why is this necessary? This is cool, but why? Oh boy. Oh That is cool looking. Okay, so I can see we got like a oh, that's a triple bearing set up for the turning uh, You got all the little individual free bearings for the suspension set up and of course, it's still a it's still a heavy loader. How do I get up into this? Like, I'm gonna have to use a lift here. I see the main. <laughs> oh, let's use this side ladder here. Let's go up on the lift. Uh, let's hop up into this. I really hope this is high powered. So yeah, this uh, still has all the standard features. I believe this is one of the zombie uh, NL creations that we have checked out before, but it's just monster version of it. So uh, let's go and open that up. Well, get a little bit of lag. Uh, let's go and hop into here. So one closes to does it does it work anymore? Or? Ah, it looks like a lot of the possibly the loader stuff's been disconnected. So this is just a monster truck now. All right. So you got one is your door, two is your light. So why why would you do this? Why is there a need for monster truck construction equipment? Like this is construction to the extreme. Actually, what wheels are these? I don't remember wheels looking like this. It's a cool set of wheels, and wow, this suspension, I know it is a little bit laggy. This is really cool looking. This is, uh, this is working pretty good. Actually, you know what, the, uh, the triple bearings, I believe it's because it has a little rod going across. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, so yeah, you get the rod there. Let's go ahead and let's take off here. This is cool. It's unnecessary, but it is very cool. I, I like this a whole lot. Uh, so yeah, we could... Maybe have a monster jam rally with construction equipment. I, I don't picture this thing getting too much air because it's not extremely fast, but it uh, does handle like a champ though. This thing basically turns on a dime. That's actually quite amazing. <laughs> uh, that was kind of cool. It's always cool seeing uh, a couple Discord members kind of do some stuff together. I don't know if they actually created it together. Probably not, but just kind of like a, a little bit of a work project together. 
So yeah, guys, if you want to send anything to the channel, you can do it by my email, or you can just join the Discord. We have several channels set up for Scrap Mechanic Creations. Uh, if you want to just join the Discord to come hang out, uh, we do fun stuff. Uh, we talk a lot. I try to talk as much as possible on there, even though sometimes I like to disappear. Uh, so we do that. We do some of the competitions. Which, by the way, uh, we are going to announce the winner of the last Scrap Mechanic competition in the Discord. So we're going to do that, and then I'll actually show it on the next uh, Micro City episode, since it was a Micro City build. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, if you want to check out any of the creations, like I said, they're listed below. And Micro City will be returning here very soon, so... Anyways, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.